I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting to you on the grain market. Today, beans rallied again. The weaker dollar really gave some value to the soybeans, and it was off to the races. We were up over 10 cents. The market was vulnerable to a little correction, so we expected that could, that would happen. But it really, uh, really offered a, a, a you know a, a nice rally. And what the U.S. dollar, the lower U.S. dollar, does give us competitive edge a little bit. We can be more competitive with our exports, and uh, certainly that's going to uh, that gives us an opportunity to kind of get rid of some of the supplies that we have and what it has done also is that it's kind of like uh, uh, you know like settled in for a short-term low so that really is helpful it's also you know has a short-term low for the corn as well the corn was firm today it's really climbing and it's actually broke through a, a couple of resistance levels today again corn up three cents uh, certainly looks like the exports have been really good all the way along the way in spite of the fact that we have a big crop looming from South America and we do have big stocks. Uh, the market still managed to, uh, you know, have another rally here in front of a three-day uh, weekend. So uh, it, the market continues to look good, but uh, you know, planting is going to start uh, next week, and uh, you know, all bets are off for that because planting, getting in the ground, and weather is going to become an issue. So we're going to watch out for that. Uh, wheat, on the other hand, was slipping a little bit uh, right now. The supplies uh, are, have been the highest in 30 years. Uh, there hasn't been the export sales that we expected. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, has been a, a little bit lower we had uh, originally like tested the lows the market kind of came up and the world uh, the winter wheat crop uh, rating even though it was a little bit lower than last year uh, it just isn't enough to overcome how big our supplies are so it did slip just a little bit so it wasn't as much as we had expected but we should uh, expect a lot more volatility coming next week that's all from the floor at the CME group I'm Virginia McGathy